Welcome back, family and friends. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas with your, uh, your own families. We opted to not go home for Christmas this year. So it was my very first Christmas away from my family. That was a little tough. Um, the reason that we didn't go home is because my youngest son and his wife are expecting a baby in March. So we are having a baby shower for her in mid-January. So I will be going home um, for a few days in the middle of January to help with that baby shower. So because of that, we just decided we would stay home, not travel this year. Um, but definitely in 2023, I'll probably be going home for a couple weeks around Christmas. However, one great thing that did happen was my oldest son, um, who has three of my grandchildren. Um, my grandson is nine, and my two granddaughters is are 13 and 14. And they got them um, Christmas presents to a vacation to the Universal Studios. So they swung by here um, for about an hour before going to the park the day after Christmas. And then we ended up going to the park and spending the whole day with them. And then my husband came back home because he had to go to work the next day. Um, but I ended up staying at the park and in their hotel with them for a couple days. And then I came home. And then on Friday, they got to come by Friday morning and spent the whole day here with us in the villages. It was the very first time that my daughter-in-law and my grandchildren had ever seen the villages. They absolutely loved it. Um, the scooter, the DJ, was actually at Lake Sumner. So um, my kids loved seeing him and they had, they had a lot of fun with that. My 14-year-old granddaughter told me that she wants to move here. So they definitely enjoyed their, their vacation here. Um, they only got to see the villages one day. We crammed a whole lot in in that day. Um, they did get to go to the pool and play bocce ball, a lot of cart riding around. Um, but they're definitely going to come back sometime in 2023, spring or summer, and spend a whole week because all the grandkids, they are excited to come back. But today, what I wanted to talk about was something that I had a lot of questions on um, that I thought was a little confusing in Florida. So I just wanted to share this. Um, if you've lived in Florida a long time, you probably already know all this. But if you um, are new, to Florida down here or you're planning on moving, it might be some information that might be beneficial to know. And what that is, is the difference between the E-Pass and the Sun Pass, which are the items that you use for their, the Florida toll roads. Now gone are the days when we used to pull up and dig out our change and remember we used to drop our change in the little buckets when we went through the, the toll roads. Pretty much you don't see that anymore. Um, everything is set up as toll by plate. So when you go through certain areas of the toll road, they will take a photo of your license plate and then they'll send you a bill in the mail for you to pay that. Um, we have actually been using the um, toll roads a few times already since we've been down here. Um, we've made a couple trips back and forth to um, the Orlando airport, you know, taking friends or picking friends up. We also um, went to Universal Studios, so we'll get, um, that, that was uh, the turn, we took the Florida Turnpike. So we've already encountered, you know, pretty often where we've used the toll roads. So if you're just driving around the villages, you're not going to use a toll road. But if you're planning on traveling throughout Florida at all, um, you're probably going to be on a toll road from time to time. 
So it's probably beneficial to get one of these passes. Um, but a lot of people will have questions, and I totally understand why, because it's kind of confusing. Why Florida set up two separately different systems, I have no idea, because to me it just confused people. But I looked at both websites, kind of compared them, jotted down notes, so I could understand what the difference were. So I'm going to share those with you and then tell you um, what the differences are. And then you can decide which you think might be a better fit for you. Um, so I'm going to start with one of the major differences between the E-Pass and the Sun Pass is who owns them and where your toll money goes. So with the E-Pass, that is actually owned by CFX, which is Central Florida Expressway Authority. And when you pay your tolls for that, that money is invested back into Central Florida. Not statewide, but Central Florida. The Sun Pass is actually owned and managed by um, FDOT or also the Florida Turnpike Enterprise. So FDOT is the Florida Department of Transportation, and then FTE is the Florida Turnpike Enterprise. So any money that is tolls that are paid with your Sun Pass are invested statewide. So you have Central Florida versus statewide. That's probably one of the biggest differences between these two passes. Um, someone told me, which is totally not true, but someone told me that the Sun Pass was only for Florida. In the E-Pass, you could use in Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina. Um, that's not true. The Sun Pass, you can also use in Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina. So what are the difference? If you just get the basic sticker for the e-pass, that is free. And that will allow you to um, use that on all the toll roads in Florida, North Carolina, and Georgia. But that sticker can only be used in one vehicle. So you can't move it from vehicle to vehicle. Um, for, and that, like I said, that's, is free. The Sun Pass has the same thing, but it's $4.99 plus tax for the sticker. Um, and it's the same, the exact same benefit. Um, you can't transport, transport it from vehicle to vehicle. So it can only be used in one vehicle, but it's also good for Florida North Carolina and Georgia. So that's a big difference. The E-Pass sticker free, the Sun Pass $4.99. Now there's another option that you can get. Um, this used to be called something different. For the E-Pass, it was called, um, gosh, where did I put that? I think it was called E-Pass Express, E-Pass Extra. E-Pass Extra, they no longer sell. If you have that, you can still use it. But they kind of rebranded it and changed the name to the Uni Pass. And what the Uni Pass is, is it's portable. So you can use it from vehicle to vehicle. So if you have two vehicles, you can move it around. And it works in 19 states pretty much all the states on throughout the eastern part of the United States. So 19 states. The cost of your uni e-pass is $14.95. Sun Pass has the exact same thing, exact same price, $14.95, but it's called the Sun Pass Pro. Again, it can be used interchangeable, um, vehicle to vehicle, and then you can use that in 19 states. Um, in order to 
put more money onto your account. Um, the ePass has certain pay-up stations they have on their website where those locations are. Um, and you can drive through those and, I guess, add money onto your account. SunPass doesn't have that. But there's several retailers, most of the grocery stores, you can go to and add money to your account. However, really, you can do that online. Um, and that's how the easiest way to do it is set up your account for both of these, whichever one you go with. Set up an account online. You can um, put a credit card to that account, put so much money in there. So then the money's already sitting there. So as you're, you get charged tolls, they'll just take that money out of your account. And then when you get down to a certain amount, then they'll put more money, you know, withdraw from your credit card and put more money onto your account. So it's pretty easy to manage. I want to say that both of these also have um, apps, downloadable free apps that will help you manage your account. You can go on the app and see what your tolls were. Um, so they make it pretty easy. Um, both of them also offer, uh, you, you can, if you go to like the Orlando International Airport or Port Canaveral, um, you can pass, or I mean pass, you can park with your e-pass or your sun pass and then instead of having to pay for the parking you still have to pay for the parking but it'll just be like a toll road where they'll take that right out of your account you just have to make sure you have the money in your account um, to cover that and then another really the only other big difference i saw was um it looked like the e-pass offers discounts, meaning cheaper tolls for the more you use it. So if you're someone that maybe you have to make a drive back and forth to work on a daily basis and you're always using the toll roads, e-pass is probably going to be your best bet because you're going to save a little bit on tolls. They're going to give you a discount. It's kind of like a frequent flyer program. Um, and I did not see anywhere where Sun Pass offered that. Um, so they're basically the same. One thing they did say, make sure you do not get both. Or if you have the Easy Pass, you don't want to install one of these on your vehicle with your Easy Pass um, because that could cause you to get double charged. You say you don't want that to happen. Both of these have websites where you can go and answer, you know, find um, answers to your questions. Um, but I just know, to me, it just seemed a little confusing as to, okay, SunPass, ePass. What's the difference? Which one do I need? Again, I don't know why Florida has two different separate systems. I get that they money goes in different places and they're, run by different organizations, but um, I just think it made it a little confusing for the average consumer. Um, so basically, it really doesn't matter which one you get. If you're just going to do the, just you don't really drive on it that often, but maybe you're going to be going to Orlando back and forth on occasion, um, it's probably a little bit, you're going to save five bucks by going with the e-pass because they don't charge for the sticker where SunPass does. Other than that, and then where the money goes, that's really the only difference that I saw. So hope that helped out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, or maybe you've learned more than I have on this subject, feel free to leave it in the comments. Oh, another thing I wanted to add, and this is important. With those passes, the E-Pass and the Sun Pass both, they're pretty much interchangeable. Um, you can also use those on the lanes that are, like if you're driving through Atlanta and you have the, I forget what they call the lanes, 
but where you can cruise right on through the lanes. Um, they're not free. It's like a toll road. You're going to get charged for using those fast lanes. Um, but you can use those with the Sun Pass and the E Pass. So it could get you through the major cities a little quicker, especially if you're driving through it during rush hour. So that could cut down on some of your time. Um, if you happen to pop in one of those lanes and you do not have a Sun Pass or an E Pass, the charge for that is $25 per every day you do that. So it can be a pretty hefty charge. So I don't recommend jumping in, the, in those lanes unless you have the Sun Pass or the E Pass. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.